It wasn't long ago this young tusked titan was nearly on the streets, toughing it out toughy style with no budget, no credit, and no style. After cleverly attending one of those notorious financial literacy workshops, this elephant made a payment plan and started saving. In only three short months, Tuffy had some cash in his savings account, was paying his bills on time, and decided to embark on the most exciting new adventure any bright-eyed, bushy-tailed... <laughs> some more than others. <laughs> As I was saying, the most exciting new adventure any new college student can embark on. A credit card! Nice, Tuffy. Now how long have you had that? One whole month? You must have gotten pretty good at managing costs. One week. Impressive. Especially with all that fancy stuff. Wait, you don't mean one day, do you, Tuffy? You didn't buy all these nice, fancy, expensive things on the same day you got your first credit card, did you? Well, hold on a second there, Tuffy. Just one bad day might not be so bad if you don't make a habit of it. Did you read the fine print? Tuffy? Tuffy? If your total minimum payment due is not received by your payment due date, a late payment fee of $25 will be assessed, $35 for subsequent occurrences that are within six billing cycles of a previous occurrence. However, the late payment fee will not exceed the total minimum payment that was due if your balance is $100 or less on the- Tuffy, isn't there anyone who could help you figure this out? No one? No website you could visit? No workshop you could attend? That's right. You know who I'm talking about. The Financial Literacy website outlines and highlights the major issues surrounding building credit and sometimes, more importantly, maintaining it. The website clearly states the goal of managing your credit is to stay out of excessive debt. Something many college students aren't aware of, however, is that not all debt is bad. Good debt is the one that produces cash flow, whereas bad debt does not. For example, buying an apartment building may put you in debt, but it also provides revenue from rent and perhaps some deductions. The question you have to train yourself to ask when buying things with a credit card is, do I really need this? Since you're not paying right then and there, it's easy to fall into the same trap as Tuffy, splurging on pricey items without accounting for the necessities you know you'll still have to pay. When looking for jobs in the future, it's important that you've built good credit during your time in college. You do this by paying bills fully and on time, which is increasingly hard to do the more you spend and the less you save. Online banking is also a helpful tool to keep you on top of your expenses. Maintaining good credit is far easier when you're organized, and it's easy to monitor and check where your money is going with easy-to-use online management. This also lets you see what you're keeping each month, and how much of that you might have wasted. A gigantic asset to earning good credit is consistently adding to your savings, so that in case of an auto emergency or major health issue, you still have cash to handle the big stuff and sustain your credit simultaneously. 
It could be so easy falling behind, right, Tuffy? Uh-oh, Tuffy. Rent is due tomorrow. Are you able to pay? What will Tuffy learn next? <laughs>